Skin inspection is a fundamental component to a patient assessment. Detecting changes in temperature, appearance and texture are essential elements in order to identify signs of deterioration and change. Frequent inspection of the skin and soft tissue requires visual inspection and thorough palpation. Skin and soft tissue assessment is a key component in pressure injury prevention, classification, diagnosis and treatment. The condition of skin and underlying tissue can serve as an indicator or early sign of pressure damage. Routine skin and tissue assessment provides an opportunity for early identification, treatment and intervention. Various skin alterations including dryness, moisture, thinning or inflammation are indicators of change. Skin inspection should be a high priority and performed as soon as possible following admission to any healthcare facility. Conduct a head to toe assessment with particular focus on skin overlying bony prominences, including the sacrum, heels, pubic region, thighs and torso. Assess the skin for signs of moisture associated skin damage, paying special attention to skin folds. Inspect the skin for erythema before repositioning. Avoid positioning anyone on an area of erythema where possible. Ensure you assess the skin and soft tissue underneath medical devices and prophylactic dressings as part of routine skin assessment. Inspection of skin should include a visual inspection in conjunction with other skin assessment techniques such as touch and palpation to detect differences in temperature and tissue consistency. Check for blanchable response using a finger pressure method. A finger is pressed on the erythema for three seconds. Blanching is assessed following removal of the finger on intact skin. If there is difficulty in differentiating between a stage one pressure injury or suspected blanchable erythema, relieve the suspected pressure injury for 30 minutes. Repeat the skin inspection. Blanchable erythema should disappear within several hours, or it may result in inflammatory erythema with an intact capillary bed. Non-blanchable erythema indicates structural damage to the capillary bed and microcirculation, which can be identified as a stage one pressure injury. It is not always possible to identify erythema on darkly pigmented skin. Instead, pay close attention to temperature and texture changes. The detection of localised heat, edema and change in tissue consistency are early warning signs of tissue damage. Pay close attention to bony prominences such as heel regions. Here you can see a clinician checking for a blanchable response in the heel region. The use of a mirror is used as an aid in order to inspect this difficult region. Ensure your findings are communicated and documented within the patient's file. Escalate and respond to any changes in the skin. As part of a comprehensive care plan, implement individualised pressure injury prevention strategies in response to your patient's risk level.